People at Work, The Fireman, first published in 1962, a ladybird book. You have often seen a fire engine rushing along the road with its bells ringing. Cars, lorries and buses move to the side of the road to make way for the fire engine. The firemen must get to the fire as quickly as possible in case people are in danger. If the firemen arrive in time, they can stop small fires growing into large ones. All fire engines are painted bright red. There are different kinds of engines which are used for different sorts of fires. The smallest engine is called a pump tender. It carries 200 gallons of water in its tank. A larger fire engine is called a pump water tender. It carries 400 gallons of water. This engine is used where there is no water supply near the fire. The biggest fire engine in a fire station is called a turntable ladder. The ladder on this engine can reach far higher than any of the ladders on the other fire engine. It is fixed to a special kind of table which can be turned in any direction. The turntable ladder is set out to fires in high buildings because its ladder will reach right to the top. It is often used to rescue people from very high buildings. Another kind of engine is called a salvage tender. At a big fire, it's not only the fire itself which causes damage. The water, which the firemen use to put out the fire, can also do a lot of damage. The crew of the salvage tender protect the furniture and carpets in a house by covering them with canvas sheets. In a factory, they cover the machinery with canvas sheets to protect it. There are usually five men in the crew of a fire engine. One of them drives the engine. The leader sits beside the driver. The other firemen sit inside the cab of the fire engine. The leader has usually been in the fire service for many years. He will know how to fight different sorts of fires. So when the firemen arrive at a fire, it is always the leader who decides how to fight the fire. He tells each fireman what to do. Every morning as the firemen come on duty, each fireman is told which is his fire engine for, it, for the day. Each fireman then puts his clothing and equipment in his own place inside his engine. This is done in a special way to help him get dressed quickly for a fire. First, he folds his jacket and lays it on the seat. On top of the jacket, he places his helmet. He stands his tall boots on the floor and folds the tops down. When he is called to a fire, a fireman must put his helmet on first. This is important because it will protect his head at a fire. A fireman's long rubber boots come right up his legs and fasten onto his trouser belt. Some firemen wear long leggings on top of strong boots. Their boots or leggings protect them from the water. When a fireman puts on his jacket, his axe is already hooked to the belt of his jacket. A fireman's axe is important to him because at a fire he may need to break down a door or chop away burning wood. The fireman finished dressing in the cab as the fire engine is on its way to the fire. By the time the fire engine arrives at the fire, 
the firemen will be dressed and ready to fight the fire. The picture shows a fireman who is fully dressed. Anyone who discovers a fire should hurry to the nearest telephone and dial 999. This is called an emergency telephone call and it can be made without using any money. The operator at the telephone exchange always answers an emergency call immediately. When the call is about a fire, the telephone operator puts the call straight through to the fire station. In the control room at the fire station, there are always people on duty, night and day. One person sits at the table near the telephone. As soon as a fire is reported, the duty officer presses a button. This rings the alarm bells in the fire station. The officer at the telephone makes sure that the person reporting the fire gives the correct address. As soon as the duty officer in the control room rings the alarm bells, he must decide how many engines he will send to the fire. He must also decide which sort of engines to send. When the engines have left the fire station, the leader can keep in touch with the fire station by radio. The radio operator at the fire station is sometimes a girl. As soon as the alarm bells sound, the firemen stop whatever they are doing and run to their engines. The firemen who are upstairs slide down a polished pole in one corner. This pole comes down through the hole in the ceiling, down to the big room where the fire engines stand ready. The drivers of the engines, which are going out, start their engines. The men jump in and put on their uniforms. The leader of the crew runs into the control room. He picks up the piece of paper telling him the address of the fire. Meanwhile, the big doors in front of the fire engine have been opened. 30 seconds after the alarm has sounded, the engine is being driven out of the fire station with its bells ringing. Many of the calls are for chimney fires. Usually it does not take the fireman long to put out a chimney fire. Many chimney fires are put out from the inside of the house with a stirrup hand pump and chimney rods. Sometimes the firemen have to use their ladders to climb onto the roof. Then they carry hoses up the ladders and send a fine spray of water down the chimney. When the fire is put out, the fire engine goes back to the fire station. There it is cleaned and polished. Everything is checked and put ready for the next fire. The firemen take the wet hoses from the fire engine and hang them on tall drying towels. Then they put other hoses ready in the fire engine. Fireman does not spend all his time fighting fires. Most of his time is spent at the fire station and there he has many jobs to do. The fire engine must be kept in good running order. The fireman's equipment must always be ready for use. Often the firemen practice climbing ladders to see how quickly they can do it. They also practice with hoses and with new equipment. Fires often break out during the night, so firemen are on duty all night at every fire station. Fires which break out at night are usually bigger than fires during the day. This is because people are asleep, so the fire is often not discovered until it's blazing. 
people who are asleep in bed may be trapped upstairs. Then the firemen will rescue them. At a very large fire, all the fire engines from one station are needed. Sometimes extra fire engines are brought from other towns. Then dozens of firemen all play their hoses on to the fire. The chief officer of the fire service is there. He sits in a big van called the control unit. It is fitted with a radio. The chief officer decides how to fight the fire and how to use the engines. Usually, firemen fight fires with water from fire hydrants. Under the ground there is a pipe which brings water to our homes. Firemen can get water from this pipe at a fire hydrant. Fire hydrants are marked at the roadside with the letter H. At fires in the country, firemen use water from a pond or a stream. They throw a pipe into the pond. The fire engine then takes water out of the pond and pumps it along the hose. Most fires can be put out with water. But water is of no use when oil or petrol is on fire. This is because when oil and water are mixed, the oil always floats on top of the water. When water is poured onto burning oil and petrol, they go on burning as they float on top of the water. If a fire breaks out in an oil tanker, or an aeroplane, firemen use a special kind of foam to fight it. This foam smothers the flames. At some fires there is a lot of smoke. This makes it difficult for the firemen to breathe. So the firemen who go into smoke-filled buildings must wear breathing apparatus. Sometimes they carry small bells or walkie-talkie radios then they can keep in touch with one another. If it is dark inside a building, the firemen will use their powerful headlamps. Firemen have other special equipment, which they use for different kinds of fires. Often in the country, in summer, dry grass and bushes are set on fire. When the firemen have poured water on the flames, the dead bushes still smoulder. If they are left to smoulder, they may burst into flames later. The firemen use special beaters to beat the smouldering roots. These beaters are made of canvas flaps fixed to wooden handles. Firemen do not always use fire engines to fight fires. Sometimes they use fire boats on the rivers. In London, there are fireboats on the River Thames. These fireboats are painted bright red, the same as fire engines, and they carry hoses and other equipment, just like fire engines. Fireboats are used to fight fires which break out in ships on the river. They can also be used, sometimes, when buildings near the banks of the river are on fire. Fire service is not only used to fight fires. Firemen often help with other jobs where their long ladders or their pumps will be useful. Firemen pump water out of flooded buildings. They bring down cats from trees. They pull up animals which have fallen into wells. They rescue people who have got stuck or hurt on roofs and ledges. A fireman does all sorts of unusual jobs, as well as his main work of fighting fires. <laughs>